Now that we've went over the symbols that we'll be using today, let's jump into the first diagram. A common question that arises is, how does a switch control a light in a ladder diagram? Well, simply put, when the switch is closed, the circuit completes and the light turns on. It's a fundamental concept, much like uh, flipping a switch at your home to illuminate a room. Okay, looking at our drawing, I have a few circuits here. And I, I want to ask you one question, building upon that concept and answering that question. What does a light need to burn? What does the light need to come on? Well, if you set a hot and a neutral, you'd be absolutely right. That's all that a light needs. So in, in this program, I can put power points anywhere that I want to. And I, I put me in a uh, line one and neutral power point. So I've got 120 volts for lights and the control and other stuff. And I can turn things on and off. And if I... If I take this yellow light and I put a hot on it and I put a neutral on it and everything's wired right, if I turn on power, that light illuminates. That, that is a very foundational concept that you need to, to start building upon to understand all the control stuff. If you don't you know, know much about it, you may be an expert in this stuff and watch it. But if you're, you're learning and starting out, this is a very foundational fact right here. What does a light bulb need to burn? A hot and a neutral. I ask people that are... Uh, uh, working with me in control classes all the time that question and and it'll start to click later on you'll see all right so a light bulb needs a hot and a neutral burn 